Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Blaise. Now Saint Blaise, of course, is one of these memorials where there's a lot of questions out there, but there's something that always happens on Saint Blaise Day, or at least many parishes offer. That's the blessing of the throats, the blessing of the throats. Remember, as a deacon at Saint Joe, he was able to help out with this because we had two deacons helping, a couple of priests helping out, because there's so many people for blessing of the throats. This is a great tradition. But what exactly do we do it for, and why? Who is Saint Blaise? Well, legend has it, legend we say, because we actually don't know too much about Saint Blaise. We believe that he was around the fourth century, around the fourth century, maybe died in the year 316 or so. But we actually don't know too much about him. But legend has it that Saint Blaise was a bishop and a martyr, a bishop and a martyr, and he was actually exiled. He was exiled because of his Catholic stuff like this. Now, 316, we know of course there's persecutions going on of Catholic bishops of people who are Catholic, but one of the stories of St. Blaise was there was a young boy who had a fishbone stuck in his throat, had a fishbone stuck in his throat, and St. Blaise healed him, healed him. And so that's why we have St. Blaise, of course, as someone who is the patron of those with illness of the throat. And on St. Blaise, the tradition's been passed on that we use candles. Now, why do we use candles? This is a good question. I'm not exactly sure why. There's another story out there that a lady, a lady who St. Blaise actually helped out, gave him tapers when he was in prison. Gave him tapers when he was in prison so he could see at night. Maybe that's why they use candles. Also, St. Blaze, you know, blaze like a storm. The fire is blazing. Maybe that's why we use candles. I'm not exactly sure. But of course, the tradition is that we, on St. Blaze, that we bless people with candles on their throat. On their throat. As a matter of fact, maybe you've never seen it done before. And it just so happens that I was around Father Zarin and Father Abbott today. And of course, Father Abbott, you can't bless your own throat necessarily. So I got it on recording. Father Zarin blessing Father Abbott with the prayer of St. Blaise. Let's take a look. Through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from every disease of the throat and every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. There we go. Father Abbott's throat has been blessed by Father Zarin. What great priests we have here at Epiphany. My two favorite priests at Epiphany, Father Zarin and Father Abbott. I'm glad that they were able to help out. But there's the blessing of the throat by St. Blaise. Maybe you didn't make it, that's okay. Just beware when you eat those fish during Lent that, you know, maybe your throat isn't blessed, but that's okay. Of course, you can always bless yourself as well in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. What a great tradition, as I know that I was talking to some people in the cafeteria this morning, and they said it's one of the traditions that they remember as a kid is always getting their throat blessed. So mark them the calendar next year, February 3rd, St. Blaise Day. It's going to be awesome. We're going to bless some throats. But today we do as well. So happy St. Blaise Days. God bless. Bye.